I send my deepest condolences to the people and government of Japan. And I'm very grateful for the heartfelt expressions of sympathy addressed to me. The earthquake and the tsunami struck on Friday morning European time. We immediately activated our incident and emergency center, which has worked around the clock since then and offered our assistance to the government of Japan. Today, the government of Japan asked the agency to provide expert missions. We are in discussions with Japan on the details. The entire island of Honshu has been shifted 2.5 meters. The nuclear plants have been shaken, flooded, and cut off from electricity. Operators have suffered personal tragedies. In the face of all of this, I pay tribute to their efforts to stabilize the reactors. The reactor vessels have held and radioactive release is limited. Nuclear safety is the responsibility of IAEA member states. Many member states have offered assistance to Japan and some have dispatched specialized teams. The agency has an important role in coordinating assistance if requested by Japan. Two international treaties, the Convention on Assistance in Case of a Nuclear Accident or Radiological <coughs> Emergency, and the Convention on Early Notification of a Nuclear Accident come into play in cases such as this. The IAEA's role under this system includes helping states to conduct an initial assessment, transmitting requests for assistance and information to other states and liaising with uh, relevant international organizations which are working in close cooperation. Early today, I spoke to United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and to the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Margaret Chan. The agency had an established response and assistance network which draws on and coordinates help from member states. Through this network, the IAEA can offer support in technical areas such as radiation surveys and environmental sampling, medical support, the recovery of missing or misplaced radioactive sources, or advice on emergency response. In situations such as this, it is extremely important that the general public, both in Japan and internationally, is kept fully and accurately informed about the situation. The agency will continue to work around the clock to put out, put out validated facts and to explain how the plants operate and what safety procedures are in place. The Japanese authorities are working as hard as they can under extremely difficult circumstances to stabilize the nuclear power plants and ensure safety. I know that all of us stand by them in their effort to deal with this crisis. The IAEA will continue to play its part. Japan and all of our member states can be assured that all resources put at our disposal are fully mobilized. That will remain the case until this crisis has been resolved. This is not uh, the uh, accident by design or by human error. Uh, this is um, uh, the uh, accident caused by natural disaster that is unprecedented. And also, the fact that we had this accident due to uh, the tremendous uh, natural power does not change the fact we need the stable source of energy, and we need to mitigate the negative impact of, um, uh, of climate change. After um, the uh, nuclear uh, power plant accident um, uh, like this, we have to do three things. Shut down, contain, and cool down. In this case, automatic shutdown uh, was done uh, uh, 
uh, as um, um, uh, as, um, um, as as was uh, perceived. But um, and and the release of um, uh, uh, radioactive material into the atmosphere is limited. The amount is limited. But the Japanese um, uh, operators have problem in cooling down uh, their reactors. Um, and uh, this is uh, the main problem. 